Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to get the onGUI function in place for the controller warning script. So I'm going to come here just before the last closed bracket. And it can be of type private, of type void, and we'll say on GUI will open and close brackets will open and close so all capitals apart from a lowercase n let's come inside the function so we're going to say gui and we're going to say dot and we want to draw texture and we're going to open brackets it's of type new rect and we'll open brackets again so we'll first define where to start drawing now in this case we want to start drawing right in the corner of the screen so we can use value of what zero comma zero we'll put a comma in and then we'll say screen dot width comma screen dot height which defines how big to draw it in this case we're drawing the entire screen width by the entire screen height we'll close brackets comma and then what we want to draw which in this case is the controller warning background We'll close brackets, we'll close the line off. So let's break this up for commenting. And I'm going to enter here, just before screen width, and here as well, just before we say underscore controller warning background. So let's get this into the comments. We'll say draw texture. And we'll say starting at 0, 0. Let's come to the next line. And we're going to say by the screen width and height. Just put a space in there. And then finally, we'll say draw the. Let's. Yeah, we'll say warning. We'll put warning background. So we're drawing the controller warning background by the whole screen. Let's come to a new line. We're going to say GUI.color. We're going to say this is going to be equal to new color. We're going to open brackets. We're going to say one comma, one comma, one comma. And then we're going to say underscore and we want the controller warning fade value. Let's close the brackets. We'll close the line off. Let's break this line up for commenting. I'll do it here after all the ones. So these ones represent the RGB value of the uh, GUI which we are not adjusting so let's get that into the comments first we'll say GUI color we'll say is equal to one we'll put three ones and let's say um, in fact let's open and close brackets in the comments and we'll say yeah RGB default And let's come to the next line. So we have the RGB value. Now this value is the transparency, the alpha. So this is what we are adjusting. So the text fades in and fades back out. So let's get that into the comments. And we'll just say plus the fade value 
and let's come below here we're going to see GUI dot draw texture again so let's open of type new rect we'll open again again we're starting right in the corner of the screen zero comma zero comma and again and in fact let's just um, let's copy from here because we can actually in fact, let's copy the entire block and let's just paste that in because it's all going to be the same apart from this here so we're drawing the background we're controlling the fade or the GUI color and we're adjusting the alpha the transparency and now we're we're able to adjust the transparency we can now draw the text which is going to fade in and fade out so let's get that into the comments so we'll say controller warning text and let's put that into the comments so we'll put draw the controller warning and change background to text and let's come below here and we're going to say if we'll open and close brackets and we'll say inside the brackets controller detected if it equals true so double equals signs and then true we'll put it into the comments if controller detected equals true will come below and let's just paste one of these blocks in again and let's have a look we can leave all of that in place we just need to change this bottom one again and we're going to say controller detected text let's tidy up the comments and we're just going to change it here controller detected text get rid of the empty line and then we'll save that off and now that is the GUI done um, we still have some setting up to do within the scene but I actually want to get the main menu script in place as well so I want to get all the scripts in place first and then we'll make sure that all the scenes are completely uh, set up um, correctly and then we'll continue on and we'll be able to test out what we've done so far but I think we'll leave it here for this video as always I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you next time and until then, as always, bye for now.